one section and the other two are gone someplace. Ten months ago, Charles Hamilton purchased this house. At the time, it was a dream home. Tonight, it is a battered nightmare. When the tornado hit, his wife Paula was hit in the process. She sustained minor injuries and was taken to community hospital for treatment. She is expected to be released tonight, but it will take much longer than this night to undo the damage unleashed by the twister. As a family, you know, uh, it's kind of a setback right now, you know, and like I say, you just pick yourself up and keep on going. You know, uh, you can't change what happened, so you just have to start over all over again. I was sitting at the table doing a Bible study lesson, and it started raining, it was getting dark, and all of a sudden I saw the tree in the backyard, it just snapped. Then I heard this train noise, and man, I ran in the, in the uh, bathroom, got on my knees, started praying, then all of a sudden it was over with. Over and over again throughout the area, people gave blow-by-blow -blow accounts of the winds of fury. Tales of how the tornado did not bother to knock, but plowed right through walls and peeled back roofs. Stories of how people narrowly escaped serious bodily injury. My uh, sister-in-law was next door and she was sitting in a chair and the, the wall blew down on her and luckily the uh, chair supported the wall so we was able to get her out without any, any injuries. This city has absorbed a number of blows from Mother Nature this year in Mayor Stephen Goldsmith's first year. He was on the scene assessing damage. He wanted to emphasize a need for gawkers to stay away from this area. I think the message we need to clearly say is we have uh, 40 to 50 law enforcement officers out here. People are not to come in this area. Uh, it, it is shut down for the evening until the lights come on, daylight tomorrow. And people who come into the area, if they don't live here, will be turned away by those officers.